Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, December 30th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Sleeper's support. Hmm. I wonder if they're talking about a sleeper agent. This is a Friday after all. Great deal. I guess it could be a ton. This can't be happening. Hmm. Is it oh no? The Spoonful of Milk Painter, 1912. I haven't heard of this painting before. Hmm. Peppery orange red condiment. Peppery. Interesting. I don't know if I know what this is. Oh man, we're having some trouble in this corner already. Toy inspector, and this is wordplay, so this is not someone who works in a toy factory. I wonder if it's going to be about a toy dog. Yeah, maybe this is like a dog something? Hmm. Does this end in a G? Biter. That could be a fang. Yeah. Let's see if this starts with dog. Great deal. That could be a scad. That's a lot of something. Um, is it a sleeper sofa? Maybe it's a sofa bed? Could that be? This can't be happening. Maybe it is, oh no. Uh, hmm, who could this be? C-H-A. I don't know if I can think of a painter that fits here. Hmm. Peppery orange red condiment. It starts with Anne? Tennis great nicknamed the Punisher. I want to guess this is Andre Agassi. I've never heard that nickname before though. Hmm. Is there a painter called Chagall? I want to say I've heard that name before. Tool that you turn on. I wonder if this is talking about rotating something or maybe rotating yourself to use it? Hmm. It's not a bandsaw. I'm not sure. His Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy was the first album to debut at number one on Billboard. Hmm. Uh, well, Elton John would fit. I've never heard of that album before. I guess I should have, it was number one. Let's try Elton John. Those letters seem very nice, I like this J here. Some band's practice sessions, yeah, that's gotta be jams, okay. What the angler on a deep sea anglerfish can do? Um, hmm, isn't that the light that they have that kind of dangles off the front of them? It's not glow? Hmm. I wonder if it's not bad. Yeah. Peppery orange red condiment. Is it anato? Is that right? Hmm. This could end in saw. Oof, I'm not sure. Toy inspector. Hmm. Hillary Clinton or Kamala Harris once. I think this has to be senator. Yeah, they were both senators. Hmm. Tool that you turn on. It's not a blade. Let's get out of here. Let's see if we can get the end of this dog inspector. Metric unit equal to 100 square meters. 100 square meters. Hmm. So this is a unit of area? I don't know if I know this. Simplest choice. Hmm. Uh, what's the simplest choice you can make? I have no idea. UPS fleet. It's not delivery vans? Hmm. I want to say it's about the vehicles, but... Maybe it's being more tricky than that. Could it be like overnight delivery? Pouts. Uh-oh. 
Um, we ran out of things to build off, didn't we? Let's see if we can build off of this I. What comes before a final? This is very tricky. This is not talking about a final exam. I think this is talking about a final in a tournament. So the semi-finals would come before the finals. Very tricky. Red or green condiments. More condiments. Hmm. Red or green. I have no idea. Fictional girl who says, I go to all the weddings in the white and gold room, and I usually stay for the reception. That sounds like something Eloise would have said because she lives at the Plaza Hotel. What, LASIK treats? Um, well, it makes your vision better, right? I wonder if it's going to be myopia. Let's see if that fits. Gymnast Reisman. Yeah, that could be Ali Reisman. Secretly pass gas. And this is wordplay, so it's not about flatulence. Pass gas. Is it talking about natural gas or gasoline? Pass gas. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, maybe it's siphon. You're stealing gasoline from another car. That is super, super tricky. I love that clue. Okay, blank fusion. Maybe it's Asian fusion as a cuisine. Do some branding. And this is more wordplay, so I guess it's not about advertising. Hmm. Branding. Red or green condiments. Is it salsas? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there is red and green salsa. We have a grid spanner right in the center here. Let's see what this is. Condone in action tacitly. Hmm. It seems like this should be look the other way. Nice. That's going to be really helpful. World capital whose name means elephant trunk in Arabic. Hmm. Okay, so this has got to be a country in the Middle East, right? And it's a capital. Hmm. I wonder if it's Caracas. Wait a minute. No. That's the capital of Venezuela, isn't it? And that starts with a C anyway. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Lots and lots. Okay, this time it's going to be a ton. Simplest choice. Hmm, what in the world? Lots and lots. It starts with A-O? Hmm, I don't know if I know what this unit is. The only thing I can think of that would fit here is A-1, because it's really good, so that would be a simple choice. It doesn't feel right, though. Hmm, do some branding. Let's see if we can build off of the other end of look the other way as well. That could be two popular TNT drama that starred Kira Sedgwick. I don't think I know what this is. Take off as a layer. Shouldn't that be peel? Yeah. Place to get a plaza treatment. I've never heard of a plaza treatment before. It's not a spa. Hmm. State of blank. This could be a million different things. Let's see if we can build off of this W. Place for a working model. Are they talking about a fashion model? That could be a runway. That's very clever. Get involved. Hmm. There's a lot of options here. They're chosen for their high-grade potential. It feels like high-grade is important here. Isn't there high-grade gasoline? I guess we could be talking about high-grade students. Hmm. High-grade can mean like a steep slope too, right? Interesting. Ottoman authority. Is it an aga? I think that's an honorific. Nautical ropes. Oof. Um, I don't know if I know this. Plaza. Not doing anything. It feels like that should be idle. 
Hmm. Ooh, this is tricky. MLB great with a famous unbreakable streak familiarly. Oh man. Can we build off of this O? Anti-discrimination government agency. Um, does this have something to do with equal employment opportunity? Hmm, that's a little short. Is this an E? Polished off. That could be eaten. Okay. Um, maybe it's E E O something. Mexican free tail blank. World's fastest horizontal flyer. Um, just based on this A, I want to say it's probably a J. Zero in scoring slang. Um, it's not zilch. I don't know about this J here. What else could this be? It's pointing to something else. J for one, or maybe something else for one. Hmm. Personal ad abbreviation. There's so many options here. Kappa from China. Uh, so maybe this is the Chinese word for tea. Is that cha? I know it's cha in Japanese. I'm not sure about Chinese. Hit head on. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're talking about here. It's not like jam, right? Yeah, I don't know. Morning host copy. I believe that's Hoda. I think that's right. Damn right, an equivalent phrase. Um, I wanted to start with that's. UPS fleet. Hmm. What is this one? September 1st, 1939 poet. I feel like I've heard of this poem before. Hmm. Uh, is it W.H. Auden? I think that might be right. Let's see here. Personal ad. I guess it could be like single white female maybe? It could be male also. Hmm. Let's keep this blank actually. One who is mean as the dickens? And this is wordplay, so this is not just a slang term for someone who's really cruel. I wonder if it's someone in a Dickens play who is mean. That could be Scrooge, right? That's very appropriate for this time of year. I love it. Um, hmm. It could be a bagel, right? That's a slang term for zero in sports. So, is it a bat? Really? It's not even a bird at all, that's crazy. So, a bat is a mammal. Excellent, okay, and this is a ram, that makes sense. And I believe this is Khartoum. I have heard of that, I can't remember what it's capital of. And then, this does start with that. Damn right. Um, it's probably gonna be an S here. It doesn't help too much. Hmm, maybe this is an E? Man, yeah. Maybe we can have some luck in this southeast corner here. Discover. Is it find? Hmm, damn right. That's for sure? That would fit. It's a pretty good answer. Pizza chain informally. Yeah, that could be Uno's. 1990 World Cup final city. I have no idea where the World Cup was in 1990. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's Reno. Could it be Riga? Hmm. Milk sources for Pecorino Romano. I have no idea about this. It sounds like it's about cheese. Oh, an equivalent phrase. Um, is it I see now? Very tricky, okay. Never heard that before. Yet another equivalent phrase. Um, it's not, that's a new one. Hmm, is this Rome? 
That would make a lot of sense. Um, hmm. I still don't know what this should be, though. Never heard that before. Hmm. Bridesmaids expenses. That should be dresses. Okay. Blank there yet? Are we there yet? And then... Hmm. Never heard that before. Is it new to me? Oh man, that's hard to see. Okay. Objects thrown out hotel windows in a rock and roll cliche. Uh, I want to say that's TV sets when you're trashing your hotel room. Okay. Place to go for short. Place to go. Are they talking about a restroom? That could be a lav for a lavatory. So is this the closer? I feel like maybe I've heard of that. Um, yeah, maybe this is like the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission or something. That seems plausible enough. Um, what is this? It's familiarly. Oh man. Uh, it kind of looks like it should be a J. It could be Joel or maybe Joe L. I've never heard of that, but maybe this could be Jumbo Jets. That could be a fleet that UPS would have. And then A or B is the simplest choice. That's really hard. Um, okay, miss the turn maneuver. That'll be a UE, but it could be UIE or UEY. I've seen it spelled both ways. Hmm. Pouts. Is this an I? It seems like it should be an E here. So let's try UEY. It may go on sale on November 1st. Hmm. So maybe this is about Halloween. The day after Halloween, maybe candy would go on sale. That's pretty funny. Quick refresher. Is this something to refresh your memory or... Is it a refreshing drink? Hmm. It's not like a cram session. Interesting. Is it a dog show judge? Yeah, that's definitely what it is. And then, what is this? Pouts. It ends in U-E-S? It's not ruse. Hmm. This is tricky. I'm not sure what this should be. We do have a G here. Uncommon blood type for short. I'm gonna guess that's O negative. This could be an A or a B also. Quick refresher. Hmm. Whom the New York Times co-named Athlete of the Year with Babe Ruth in 1920. It's not Jim Thorpe. It feels like the right era though. I'm not sure who this is. What a single is worth? Is it one dollar? <laughs> um, maybe one buck? Would they use slang? I don't know. Ooh, this is looking very weird. Hmm, I don't know about buck. Power couple. And this is wordplay, so this is not about a very successful married couple. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it has to do with electric power? I'm not sure. Intro to cognition. Um, maybe it's precognition if you could see the future? That's kind of tentative though. Admittedly, I really want this to be, to be fair. I love it, that looks great. Not doing anything, you are free. Um... This looks like it has to be a sauna, doesn't it? So, it's not peel. Maybe this is something else. Oh yeah, this doesn't have to be an L. Hmm, maybe it's shed. And this is Joe D? Oh, is it Joe DiMaggio? Um, what is his streak? I'm not sure what this is. Place to get a Plata treatment seems like it has to be a sauna. State of blank. Is it the state of things? Oh my god, that's so general. Get involved. That's gotta be engage. 
So is this ties nautical ropes? It's spelled with a Y? That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And this is easy A's. They're chosen for their high grade potential. That's a really funny clue. It was about grades in school. That's a really fun one. Okay, what a single is worth. It does start with a B here. Is it Buck, I wonder? This could be a catnap, right? We were saying this could be an A. So let's try catnap here. Okay, so that means pre is right. This is not Buck. Group that had the first hardcore rap album to reach number one on Billboard. That's gotta be NWA. Power couple. Maybe it's double A's, like in a battery. And this is one base? Oh, it's one base in baseball. How did I not think of that? Joe D would be so disappointed in me. Okay, um... What in the world is this? Anawar? What? Oh no. Um... Hmm... I have no idea who this is. I think all of these are right also. Oh boy, let's have this be our last square here. Um, I think this has to be Chagall. I know I've seen that name before. It seems like bed has to be wrong here because this has to be glow for an angler fish. So is it a sofa leg? Sleeper support? Hmm, is it really a leg? Yeah, because this is gonna be a lathe. Yeah, that's a spinning woodworking tool. Okay, um, this was a natto. Okay, so now we need to put our best guess in here. Um, Mueys? I wanna say maybe it's Mana War. That's really the only plausible thing I could think to put in here. Mana War. Was there really a person named Manowar? That's wild. Isn't that a kind of jellyfish? All right, well, let's give it a shot. Let's throw this M in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Friday puzzle in 30 minutes. It's a little bit of a long time, but I thought this was a pretty challenging Friday puzzle. Yeah, there was a lot of really clever wordplay today. I think my favorites were definitely Scrooge, one who is mean as the Dickens, that's really, really funny. And I also really loved Siphon for secretly pass gas. That is just so cheeky. I think honorable mention has to go to Dog Show Judge too, Toy Inspector. Yeah, the tricky cluing kept up the challenge all the way through. I liked this pair of misdirections in this section too. Place for a working model is a runway. Yeah, they're not talking about a working model in science. And this was fun too. They're chosen for their high grade potential, easy A's. Yeah, this definitely sounds like it's talking about some kind of gasoline. The only real difficulty we ran into was this cross here though. Mueys for pouts. I don't know if I've ever seen this word before. Crossing Manowar. That is a very, very tricky cross. Yeah, thankfully we were able to leave this one to last and make a good guess at it. All right, well, that felt like a proper challenging Friday puzzle, that's for sure. I hope you enjoyed solving that one with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week, the Saturday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.